Welcome guys, welcome. This is John. This is episode 3 of the Burgundy campaign in Rome Total War Remastered. In the previous episode we took Campus Bargar Barbaricum with our faction leader, the chief Odovacar, the head of a large family. Actually, not that large. He has four, actually three now. Sons, who Hoshin died in the siege, in the assault of Campus Barbaricum. Yeah, but he wasn't the best, for sure. Yeah, Odovacar was sad, maybe... Maybe, yeah, a bit angry. We could imagine him ordering the, the destruction of this shrine to Papei. Let's take a look. The, the, this shrine is dedicated to Papei, the old sky god of the Scythians. Scythians, uh, one of the mightiest horse people to rule the steppes. Life happens beneath his gaze, and nothing unjust can flourish un, uh, in his sight. Here, he is being honored as a bringer of justice to his followers. The shrine makes the people feel happy to know that the great Papai is being properly honored and now watches all over them. Nope, not anymore. Destroy. Now we will build something in honor. Maybe, yeah, in honor, not to our son watching, but to the previous commander who fought gloriously he slain many of our own warriors but Dovacar is a proud warrior he knows that he has to honor the enemy so where is it he is a mighty warship yeah he is honorable I, I see him honorable he despises nomads so maybe this, this is the reason why he would spit on the enemy corpses, but yeah, we, we shall build a shrine to commemorate our enemies nonetheless. Our, the, the valor of our enemies nonetheless. Uh, we are still in a pretty precarious economical situation, but uh, we should gain 1300 gold coins, something like that, 1200, yeah, in the next turn, actually denari or whatever. We shall see, we shall see. I moved already our agents, here they are, Isengard, he is Awaiting still in the Campus on. Lombardi, we are waiting for an, uh, an opportunity. Assassin Tell this Reza. and croc. Now, off camera, I noticed something really cool. Let's go to the overlay. I've checked my my favorites, the trade good overlay and the uh, resources. And I noticed something all the way over here. Gold. Now, gold is really, really important. Uh, as you can imagine. In fact, uh, here in Campus Barbaricum, we are trading gold with Campus Burgundy. We are gaining 94 only from uh, importing and exporting. But if we check here, 169. We are importing gold and exporting all of these resources. So now trade is flourishing up here in the north. Our next target, since I'm not yet at war with uh, our uh, neighbors i saw if we check the diplomacy screen uh, where is it i think it's this one no where is it armies there is, is, is this one red enemy we are at war with rebels so this is a rebel territory and if i click here factions this gray color is the are the rebels so Let's expand, expand in this direction, actually. I don't want to start a, a war without reason. Not just yet. Yeah, maybe the Lombardi... They sent an agent in our territory, a spy, I think. But it's okay for now. 
as long as they don't invade our kingdom, our northern territories. Okay. What news from the world? Uh, this this panel over here, alerts, news and reports. I really don't like it. I prefer the old one, when the little squares drop down, then stumble here, bumping here in the bottom. I prefer that. It it was f cool. I don't know. All right, the Sarmatians. They are moving, so someone must have uh, kicked them out from their home territory. Probably the Vandals, since they are to war now. Oh, another cool thing is that you can see who is the attacker when uh, a war is declared. I don't know if you can see it. Um, there's a sword here in the Vandals icon and a shield in the Sarmatians. So the Vandals were the attacker. Finally, end of turn report. Oh, yeah, our income is growing even more than predicted. 1400. We are out of that just a little bit, only 300 gold coins. Now, unfortunately, we don't have enough money to do anything. Maybe what I should do is merge up these lancers and send this spear warband to be retrained here in Campus Burgundy. Or should I? No, no, yeah, let's bring them back home. Perfect. Now, if I grab this entire force and I move them out of here. Public order is at 105. 0%. No, that was a. Um, yeah, it's 0%. Okay, no, we have to leave someone behind. Um, if I lower the taxes, 10%. If I leave. What if I leave this warband behind? 105. Nice. So I could ra raise the taxes just a bit. Yeah. Let's raise taxes. Let's march. We have to invade. Uh, what's the name of this place? Uh, probably come from campus. No, look. What's the name? I rem yeah, Tribus Vandali. Tribus means. Uh, um, it's not tribe. Uh, it's not the. S it has the same origin, the, the same uh, uh, root. Uh, as a word, but tribus means uh, um, partition, uh, a part of, so this is uh, the partitions of the um, va va vandals, the, yeah, vandalorum in Latin. General. Okay, so yes. our king is marching with his army, meanwhile Campus Burgundy, yeah, everything is fine for now, our population is growing. Let's let's move the merchant Can I be of service? Rock of Campus Burgundy. Let's move him toward the Eternal City. I want I don't want to skip his movement because I want to check uh, for others other merchants, but everything seems clear, so let's move him. Just a quick reminder, he is good with money, bold bartender. Uh, ah, yeah, he is not good with uh, uh, wine trading. Okay. And then our assassins. Assassin, since we have only Otello. Otello, stay here. He is a um, solitary man, so he rests often in... Uh, in the woods, visiting hamlets, small villages, maybe training himself with sparring sessions, something like that. All right, I think that's all for this turn as well. So let's move on to the next turn. Okay, the Lombardi are moving as well. Okay, our report first. Suitable husband in a moment, and 
that was a bug because I clicked with my left mouse mouse button and the notification disappeared. Hmm, strange. Okay, a new family opportunity. Okay, uh, wait a moment. Isolde, yeah, our uh, daughter, the daughter of our chief. A marriage proposal. Gundomadus. This fine warrior is suitable. Is a suitable match for one of your daughters. Do you want him to marry her and become like you, a son to you, ready to defend your honor? Okay, sharp. Wow, this is a. Yeah, I really like him. He is really good. Positive, yeah. Welcome to the family. And so, a marriage. Where? In Campus Barbaricum, that's even better. You will be the governor of Campus Barbaricum. Gundomadus. Now, Steve might. This might be changed something because I could leave the depleted unit there. No, 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 no. Actually, let's send them there. He has two stars in command, so I can keep with him two regiments. That's fine. And then, diplomatic informations. Oh, the Roman Emperor is split even more than before. And an alliance between the Gauls and the uh, Roman Western Empire. New Testament. Athanasius has finished collating his New Testament, presenting the canon in a 27 book form. There are whispers that the decision has to do uh, as, sorry, as to what to include and what to omit had more to do with the political interest of the church leaders than true doctrine. Uh, that sounds familiar. And our economical report. Okay, we have a bit of money to spend, finally. First, our king, Odovacar, you can move. Huh. Alright, should I build a tower there? In a moment. First, let's check our cities. We have to build, after all. So, over here, the roads. Might be a good idea. Shrine to Hebelesis. Public order. Oh. This, this one enables the training of berserkers. Nice. Frig. Population happiness. Growth. Farmland size. Religious conversion. Hmm. We have a really low population here, so I might go for Frigg. Frigg, the wife of Wotan and the patron goddess of marriage, motherhood, love and fertility. Yeah, I want to build this one since this pla I need this place to grow. And uh, yeah, I, wish I want to recruit those berserkers, but this place is... Uh, Campus Barbarkim is too far away from the heat of battle, so... Let's go for Frigg. Could I build anything else? No, so we have a bit of money left. This is a good opportunity to build that watchtower. Oh, thank you, tower. Now we can see Vicus Vandali. Mm. There's a decent garrison there. Maybe a bit too decent. Mm. Should I send this warband? Let's send them for now. Campus Barbaricum is not happy. Could we do something? Yeah. 80%. March soldiers. Reach your king. Our assassin. I'm using Otello as a scout. I want to be sure that... No rebel army is roaming our land. Actually, Inguyomeros. Let's grab him for a moment. Yes. Uh, move there. Another step. And build me one watchtower, please. Build 
Yeah. No, back in Campus Burgundy. Okay, there's a Saxon uh, fleet. Their ships are patrolling the Northern Sea. The North Ice Cold Sea. And then, Croc, reach Rome, please. March through the woods of Germany. Follow the river, this great river. There's a bridge, so someone must have built good roads. Yeah, paved roads, I can see. Wait a moment, stop there. Is that a merchant? Yes, 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 yes. And there's a diplomat, Constance Labienus, of the Roman Empire. No, first, this this guy, Ma Marcui of Vicus Franchi, his name is. We are, we are in Tribus Franchi, I think, yeah. Marcui of Vicus Franchi, 95%, yeah, buy him out. I will speak with them at once. Take his money, take his trade. Good job. And Can now, be of he's for skill points even better. You are traveling to the south and you are becoming even better and better every day. Commercial conqueror. This man doesn't break into new markets. He simply takes them. Nice job. Without delay. Rest outside Vicus Franchi, the capital of our neighbor. Say hello to their faction leader, King Claudio. Send him the regards of Odobakar. Now our reports. Successful buyout. And the trade increase. Perfect. Let's move on to the next turn. The Frankish people are moving. The Lombardi, hmm, nothing. Roman diplomat traveling the roads of Germania and that's it now there is an alliance between the Berbers and the Rost Roman Western Empire so the Frank the uh, African frontier is safer for the Roman Empire and even between the Al Alemanni and the Roman Empire a ceasefire between the Sarmatian and the Roman Empire Oh, good job, Roman Empire. The Roman Empire is playing a really nice campaign, I think. Let's see. Let's go to the diplomatic standing review. Yeah, they have two protectorates. The Alemanni tribes and the Berbers. Lot of trade partners. Uh, just one enemy. Good job, Roman Emperor. Good job. Um, I want to check. Where is it? The ranking. Roman Empire. Military ranking. Very high. Production. Okay. Territorial. Yeah, they lost a couple of settlements, but they gained something. Okay. Meanwhile, the Frankish tribes, they have two... Settlement, just like us, and the same goes for the Saxons, okay. Now, Lord. Vicus Vandali, you know what, King, march, put them under siege, and if the battle is too difficult, just retreat. He has uh, only cavalry with him, so he is fast. Besieging settlement. Besieging Keep this place under siege. Uh, spearmen, raiders, something else, something else. Okay. Orders. Captain Knonodemar, Kno reach your king, please. Now, very few left to spend, so I think I'll save up this money. Oh, there's a Suomar of Campus Burgundy. Damn! Mm, these merchants keep spawning. Mm, I'm not sure I like that. Yeah, kill him. Campus Burgundy. Yeah, kill this man. Suomar of Campus Burgundy. Thank you very much indeed. 
All right, I think that's all for this turn as well. Wait a moment, let's take a closer look at this place. Okay, they have six, almost 700 soldiers. They can uh, um, resist for three more turns. Um, the resources overlay, okay, medium trade value low base farming no mining possible okay it's not the best place but it's something i guess and they have wood okay uh, our merchant yes croc of campus burgundy it's no it's not time yet to enter in the roman empire in a moment visit the client statue of the Roman Empire, the Alemanni tribe. I think they have a city here. The Alemanni lived, yeah, between the Danube and the Rhine. Okay, because Alemanni is there. There's an assassin there. If I move him there... I will speak with them at once. Okay. Okay, he is here. He is generating nine gold coins, denari, trading slaves. Slaves? Huh, are you sending back home slaves? Okay. But this is just a momentary respite, you have to move. Meanwhile, back home, I noticed something. If you click in the trade uh, summary, as you can see, uh, we are trading by sea with Campus Frisi. 213 gold coins each turn. Campus Frisi, uh, Frisia is mm, this place here, um, if I remember right. Uh, and before, if you remember, we were trading with uh, Colonia Agrippina. This, me uh, mm, this means that uh, Campus Frisi is even more valuable to us. Yeah, the game automatically um, choose uh, which is the best place to trade uh, and that's nice yes. okay he is moving and finally our uh, assassin is moving okay next turn and let's see what happens here in Vicus Vandali idle resource Isengard yeah we know that Isengard is there thank you game Okay, they didn't sell you out. Orders. Okay, Captain, reach your king, please. Oh, they are scared. Should we siege them out? I'm not sure. A new faction, the Romano-British. A new faction has appeared, a new nation to conquer. Or if we cannot conquer them, perhaps we should look to use them as allies against our survival. War declared between the Romano-British and the Celts. End of turn report. Speaking of the Romano-British, uh, there's something that I really uh, f mm, like about the Romano-English uh, Romano, um, history. And that's the... Oh uh, yeah, that's the uh, Gemitus Britannorum. Gemitus Britannorum means uh, something like... Uh, uh, groan of the Britons, the, the cry of the Britons. It was a letter sent by the Romano-British uh, soldiers uh, left behind by the Roman legions. All right, first, a little uh, something first. Um, when the uh, Huns invaded the um, Roman Empire, Rome um, sent his legions back into the mainland of Europe. Some years later, uh, the local Roman uh, population, inhabitants of the island, um, they were invaded. So they sent a letter to the um, Magister Militorum, uh, to the, um, uh, we can call it the king of the armies of the Roman Empire, asking him for help. Um, so they, they cried 
uh, begging for help. Please bring back your legion in, uh, in England and protect us. But at that time the Roman Empire was already collapsing, so uh, no helps uh, uh, reached back England. So uh, Ezio uh, fought the Huns and actually won a couple of battles, but um, the Roman Empire simply didn't have enough forces to uh, help back uh, Britain. So the, mm, the Romano-British um, organized uh, self-defense. They, they won a couple of battles against the invaders, the um, Saxons invaders, but in the end they were conquered. The Roman Empire in the meantime is slowly collapsed uh, until its tragic end. Uh, all of that? Why? I cannot recall it. <laughs> oh, wait. Oh, yeah. Otello. Let's go and kill this guy. Confirm. Com confirm. No local agent. What are you saying? Um, how do I send him? I have to end turn? Because if I right click, nothing happens. Double click. Okay, this is strange. Yeah, there's something about this game. It's cool. It has good, cool features. But there's sometimes little things that I really don't understand or simply I don't like. Of course, the, the pathfinding is an example of that. Anyway. Yes. This is still a Rome Total War, so I love it nonetheless, and I hope they will fix everything in the future. Without delay. Merchant, Croc, move down in the south. We are finally entering in the Roman Empire. This place is called Augusta Vindelicorum. Yeah, the Romans uh, called many places uh, Augusta. Uh, to honor uh, emperors, for example, uh, uh, Augustus, no or for example, there is a C uh, Caesarea here in um, in Turkey. Of course, it means it's, uh, it it is dedicated to Caesar. Um, uh, so yeah, they used to call the place after emperors, but not only emperors. Uh, anyway. Orders. Yeah, that's all. Let's move on to the next turn. Yeah, I know. Isengard must stay there. Yeah, I have to wait. Uh, I don't like this thing because, for example, and if I move, want to move my assassin, why I can't move him now? Hmm. I don't like that. Okay, it's our turn. The Eastern Robel Roman rebels are no more. Okay. Agent found, a rebel suppressed, rebellion. Mm -hmm. That rebellion didn't last very long. And the end of turn report. We are making a bit of money. But I think I'll save up the rest of this money and wait for the battle of Vicus Vandali. Okay, there is a storm, a terrible storm sign of the gods they didn't appreciate the saxon fleet there okay three was for gundi let's go for one of these merchants they are pretty much the same one yeah let's go for him very good no other skill points that's a shame okay I love studying the, uh, for example, the uh, etymology of names. Your Honor. Uh, many places all around the world still keep a uh, trace of the previous history. Um, one example here, let's go uh, again here in England. Uh, for example, Chester or Manchester. The the word Chester come comes from Castrum. Castrum was a uh, um, uh, fortified. Um, 
structure of the legion of the roman legion so uh, first there was a castrum a defensive structure a defensive uh, fortification then the people gathered all around it and then the city was born the same goes here in italy we have many places here in italy that still keeps their original name okay we can move Mediolanum is an example. Uh, in, it, in Italian, Mediolanum is Milano, so you can clearly see the uh, evolution of the pronunciation there. Okay, you march. Of course, Rome uh, still has the same old name, Rome, Roma in Italian and in Latin, of course. Okay, we are waiting for Vicus Vandali. You. Okay, you have to move back, but I cannot keep my general there since he has zero stars. Are you better? You are still just a trader, okay. Um, you could, since you are waiting, yeah, build me one tower there. Build me a tower, build me a tower, there. Uh, yeah, please, I want a tower. Thank you. And now move back. Here we have to lower the taxation since they are not happy. Hmm. Okay, we should be fine. Yes. It's just one turn. Patient citizens, be patient. Be patient, I mean. Campus Barbaricum. I um, might go for those roads or I could save up for the mines. Since these are very good mines. Okay, the, this place has a crappy uh, farming level, so I don't want to build land greens. I could go for the trader. Let's see. Trade. Trading summary. The difference is 9. Nope. I don't want that. I could go for the roads then. Mm, no. Not yet. Basic wall. No, you know what? Let's just wait. Or maybe first let's check, check this place. Nothing to build here. Yeah, let's wait another turn. The battle for Vicus Vandali is... Isengard, please. Isengard. Are you tired of being there? You know what? Isengard, go and visit this grain icon. Yeah, now eat all of that grain. Raw, please. Without cooking it. This is your lesson. Next turn. Okay, the merchant. Oh, damn, the merchant. I forgot to move my merchant. Ah, it's not a problem. I will move him in a moment. Okay. There's a warlord, a local warlord. Step tribe and raiders and peasants. I think we can do this. Let's fight. There we go. Await my orders. Here they are. This is a sally out battle, so we have no time to prepare. Spears for my nice line. We will use the hammer and anvil tactic. If we can. Spearman, actually. Should I put you. Yeah, from the skill throne. Where is the warlord? There. Skill from formation, I found this formation really useful against uh, um, against uh, cavalry. Speaking of cavalry, I might try to snipe off their leader. Okay, cav, charge them since they are sending their spearmen in a hunt for my leader. Okay, you go for them, you go for the archers, where is their leader, where is he, there, okay, yeah, yeah, back, back, good job soldiers, good job, I think you broke them, yeah, uh, by the way, uh, probably you already noticed, I'm playing without the banners, I prefer to... Or fight without the banners. Go oh, to it, be careful. Okay, 
Okay, since their leader is isolated, you know what? Spearman charge them. We have to sandwich them. Oh, this is an old bug from the original Rome Total War. The, only the first line charges, meanwhile, all the men behind uh, just stay back doing nothing. Come on, charge them. Okay, their warlord is coming. Retreat. You charge them. You charge them. Lombardi Knights, retreat. Now move back since they are coming. Has been slain what? And is now in the underworld with his <laughs> no, Dovacar, no. What a premature ending for your life. Um, I charged prepare a spear. Yeah, that's my fault. To be honest, that's my fault. Yeah, I've been um, careless, but it's okay. Leaders change. Our knights are charging, and the battle is almost over, I think. Unless my entire army breaks. The entire cavalry contingent is still alive. Huh, that's a shame. Lord okay, it's dead. over. Now he can drink with his ancestors and watch his warriors flee. I think that our uh, warlord Odovakar will drink with our ancestors. Ancestors, sorry. Yeah, he was he was brave. I'm okay with his death. He charged the, in the first line like a brave warrior. He is a brave warrior. I'm scared for our next leader. Our next leader. Wait a moment, you. All of you. Back. Our next leader is. Uh, mm, not the best. Uh, Odovakar's son, uh, if you remember, he has uh, zero skill points in command. Maybe one in influence and something like zero in uh, administration. He is really bad. So. Mm -hmm. Our future is uncertain, let's say. Come on, kill them. Batch of We need fight no more. The enemy are in full flight and the victory is yours. It's a shame. Only 17, 75 death and one of them was our warlord. I don't know. Maybe this is a punishment from the gods um, to our warlord since he sent his, uh, his child to his death and then uh, he died and the gods killed Odovakar, punished him with his own weapon, charging him in the first line, sending him to certain death. Our men are leaderless, so I think they will do the most um, profitable thing for them um, which is probably enslaving the population here yeah okay what is happening okay our reports mm, end of turn agent font faction leader Diplomatic announcement and the faction announcement. New faction here, Ingu Marius. There it is. One comma star. At least now he has a one comma star. And only two points of influence. Now this is interesting because Gundo Marus, uh, Marius, brother in law, is our best commander with only two stars. So. Hmm. The future is uncertain for the Burgundi tribe. Is this our end? Is this an omen for the future? We shall see the next turn. For now, let's move our agent 
and then I will end the turn uh, the episode hotel this uh, go for this merchant please Keep gain one star uh, no sorry with, with this merchant what's his name this merchant has no name this is stupid game is this another bug yeah this is another bug Tribus Burgundi Kill Merchant, yeah he has no name That's stupid And no new Skill points hmm. Our assassins bagged as well Who knows Can I be of service? Okay Marble No I don't want Marble, I want to reach At Rome once. And there it is, the Eternal City With his Aurelian Walls Depleted, sir. Rest in a tavern outside the city in the next turn. Maybe tomorrow you will finally enter this glorious city. In the meantime, uh, news reached even Rome. A warlord from the north who sent his child, his young son, to certain death now died as well. The gods. Uh, we're angry with him and the future the future is uncertain thank you very much for watching guys we shall see in the next episode what happens bye bye